As the parade began, the ground shook, and a city at the center of a mounting crisis echoed to the sound of marching feet. Presiding over it all was Kim Jong-un, apparently untroubled by the international pressure over the now realistic prospect of this most totalitarian of states becoming a fully-fledged nuclear power. And while President Donald Trump may be promising to stop it, North Korea has other ideas. It's an extraordinary sight. This is state power expressed as mass unity, and it's meant to send two key messages to the North Korean people that their young leader's grip on power is unassailable, and to the outside world that he commands massive military might. We will respond to nuclear war with nuclear war, a senior official told the crowds. A statement given extra force by the rolling out of these weapons, which analysts say may be North Korea's first intercontinental ballistic missiles. But while it may be isolated, it's resilient and often rational too, it wants nuclear weapons not to use them, but as a security guarantee. What message does this, does this send to the outside world? It shows the great strength of Korea, this woman tells me. We are the most proud people in the world. The periodic crises have so far always blown over, but each time North Korea emerges one step closer to its nuclear goal. After decades of trying, no one has yet worked out how to stop its advance. John Sudworth, BBC News, Pyongyang.